This panel is, uh, represents the, uh, my interpretation of the history of Annie Taylor, who was born in 1888, um, and her date of birth is, her date of death is not known. Um, she was one of several women who actually applied to be homesteaders in their own right. Um, and she was born in Missouri. Uh, she married uh, Thomas Taylor in 1908, actually in Denver, Colorado. And then in 1912, she was living in Pasadena, and that's where, when she applied to be a homesteader. She had a two-room home, uh, a shed, a barn, and a corral. Unfortunately, Thomas died just um, a couple of years after they were married. And um, her, so she continued to homestead and file to finalize her, her homestead um, properties. But one of the things I want to talk about with this panel and this, a couple of the others that we'll focus on um, is the, the iconography of the artwork because the, these, this is actually uh, an, an imported image of the track map for where the homesteaders have lived, and each of their tracks has a number. But my challenge as an artist was to, to demonstrate that they had come from some place to Landfair. And um, so that's when I decided to do this projection out. Oh, she is there, is there a number? Um, this, I decided to do a projection out from the track map and then to relate it back to um, a map of the, the U.S. In, in 1910. And the other elements that I use in all of the artwork, um, which is, because my other challenge was to be true to myself uh, and my own art um, methods and icons, and one of which is flowers. So I started incorporating state flowers to represent where they had come from, and then the California poppy as well. And she, like Moulton, um, had a variety of uh, crops that she grew, from maize corn to potatoes to pumpkins and citrons and onions, and fodder for her horse. <laughs> 